This demo will show you how to set up JFrog Artifactory and start using it in less than one minute. JFrog Artifactory is a universal artifact repository manager. It fully supports software packages created with any language or technology. It works with different build tools, CI servers, and packaging systems. After requesting an Artifactory license or as part of an upgrade notification, you will get an email from JFrog containing a link to a special bin tray page with Artifactory downloads. Let's start the Artifactory Pro standalone version download. This page is powered by JFrog Bintray, a modern, feature-rich distribution platform. For example, you can use Bintray to get notifications when new versions of Artifactory are released. After the download is complete, we'll extract the downloaded file. Now, let's start up Artifactory. First, just run the artifactory.bat file or the artifactory.sh file that's under the bin directory. And go! There are more ways to install and run Artifactory, RPM, Debian, Mac Homebrew, Docker Container, and more. Now that Artifactory is up and running, let's quickly set up the required configuration for our use. We'll open the browser to the default Artifactory homepage. When first launched, the Artifactory Setup Wizard will pop up. This wizard will easily walk us through the setup process. The first step is to provide the license key. Simply paste it here. This can be either your trial or permanent license. We will skip the password change and keep the original one. And we will also skip the proxy configuration. This is used for advanced internet configuration and can be revised later on if necessary. Now we can choose which type of repository we would like to set up. As a universal repository manager, Artifactory supports a great list of technologies out of the box. We will choose NPM. And done! The setup wizard creates three NPM repositories in Artifactory. A local repository, where you can publish your own NPM packages. A remote repository, which is useful for caching publicly published NPM packages from remote repositories on sites such as registry.mpmjs.org. And finally, a virtual repository, simply called NPM, which aggregates the other two repositories, allowing your client to work with an individual repository. Let's explore the Shiny user interface. You can see the list of repositories we have just created, including useful information at your fingertips. Now it's time to configure the NPM client to work with Artifactory. For setting up your tools to work with Artifactory, the Set Me Up button is your best friend. The pop-up window gives you all the instructions and valuable configuration snippets. It is context sensitive and shows the relevant information based on the focus location in the tree browser. In order to integrate Artifactory with NPM, we first need to set the authentication in the .npmrc file. Let's use the admin password in order to get the full curl command which we'll use to get the authentication configuration. Let's execute the curl command. Now let's copy the output and paste it in our local .npmrc file. For best practice, also add an email address. To complete the configuration, let's replace the default NPM registry with our NPM virtual repository. This is done by executing the following command, which updates the .npmrc file. It's time to put our remote repository to work. Let's try to install a simple NPM package, for example, Express. The request is being resolved through Artifactory, which returns the package and its dependencies. Let's see how it looks in Artifactory.
As you can see, all the packages were cached in the NPM Remote Cache repository. Let's examine the Express package by going to the NPM Info tab. Here we can see some details about the package, such as its dependencies. Let's look at the logs in Artifactory. This is the Artifactory log, which contains the actual downloads from the NPM registry into the cache. Now let's create our own package and publish it into our NPM local repository in Artifactory. We will add the LRU package and use it in our project. Now let's publish our NPM package into Artifactory. As you can see, our NPM package was published into our local NPM repository in Artifactory. Let's see it in Artifactory. We can see the dependency which we added in the NPM Info tab. Naturally, the metadata files were created as well. This concludes our NPM screencast. You can use Artifactory to work with any build technology like Maven, Gradle, Ivy, Conan, and Ant, and manage your artifacts for all your technologies. Just to name a few, Java, Docker, Debian, Nougat, RubyGems, NPM, and many more. Artifactory also offers tight integration with Jenkins, Hudson, TeamCity, Bamboo, and any other CI server. This concludes our introductory Artifactory setup. You are welcome to visit our user guide to discover more features and YouTube channel for additional screencasts.